Okay guys, so Infinity Ward is taking steps to fix Modern Warfare multiplayer. We're going to be going through what they're going to be changing, what today's patch changed, and then what they're going to be looking at for the near future. Probably the first big patch for this game. At least the main issues that they're looking at now seem like pretty good things that need to be fixed. And even if you are enjoying Modern Warfare, you would probably agree with these changes that they're making to the game. So they're obviously taking in as much feedback as possible, and they're looking at a wide range of issues as to what we're experiencing within this multiplayer and they want to obviously make it better balance it etc but here's some of the main things they're looking at right now so it's amazing to have the game out the feedback is overwhelming thank you some but not all of the things we're looking at so for one footstep audio claymore interaction and feedback player battle chatter in one life modes spawns and obviously there are a lot more but those are a couple of solid you know points to actually look at for the game especially the footstep audio it's really been a bit weird as to where you're hearing footsteps I, i've heard so many different issues and i've played it myself where you could hear someone above you but it turns out the person is behind you where you know friendly footsteps mixed in with enemy footsteps and spawns especially on some of these maps the spawn are just not really suited for either the game mode or the map or whatever is going on there spawns are just messing up in too many locations obviously spawns the stuff messes up it happens so that's something they could fix and they're going to be fixing so that is definitely cool to see. Now, there was also a patch today. The Modern Warfare patch update 1.05 changed very little. It fixes crashes and some spec ops bugs. So let's go through what they're looking at here. Here's one of the first things. The first rounds of Hardpoint Hill adjustments also went in with the patch for Hackney Yard, Asir Caves, Ramaza, St. Petrograd, and Arklov Peak. Here are a couple of the other notable changes for today's patch. We've done work on the back end to help with stability and prevent crashes across all platforms. If you experience a crash, please let us know. A bunch of people have been commenting on my video where the servers went down the first night. They've been still commenting, oh, I haven't been able to access the game, game's been crashing. And those are separate issues that are outside the server and they're gonna be fixing those issues. So if you've been having any of those issues with the game crashing and not loading, stuff like that, they're gonna be fixing that you know, obviously either today's patch or they'll continue to fix it for the next patch. So also fixed for a special ops achievement that was not unlocking after completing all missions. Third person footsteps are now silent while the dead silence field upgrade is active. So that is a beginning to, you know, fixing dead silence, but I think they're doing a lot more work to continue to sort of not maybe just fix, but also balance dead silence and how it works within the game. So today they took the first step, but they're probably going to be continuing to update that. And then hard point we already mentioned, I think this was mostly coming from pro players. You know, they, if they're going to play a hard point for their competitive season, they need the hills and the hill rotations and the locations of those hills they need it to be in a you know decent manner where it makes sense not just completely scattered all over the place and not with such a multitude of hills where it would just be impossible to rotate and have some sort of a competitive game and i know the game isn't you know strictly made for esports but that definitely is a huge part of their marketing it's a huge part of bringing new fans to the game and it does suck when you have a million different hills on hardpoint i guess even for pub players as well you have to really keep track of all these different hills and maybe there's just no need for those hills and how they spawn and i haven't really played much hardpoint so i don't really know but that's just what i've been seeing on twitter now these are the first steps, like I said, they're making to fix this game. And I know, you know, some people like this game as it is. Some people don't want anything changed. And also some people think there are a bunch of stuff that could be changed. And I feel like I didn't make it clear in yesterday's video. I feel like I got a bunch of comments and people, people just read the title. They just, you know, listen to the first two minutes of the video and they don't really understand where I'm coming from. I mean, I like the game, but I like the game so much that I want it to be the best possible form it could be, and I have to criticize it, and that's just the way it is. So I think these are some good steps, fixing spawns, fixing the sound issues for sure. Those are two that they definitely need to work on, but I think, you know, the map situation and the camper situation 
it's still there and i don't know if you know turning the minimap on where enemy shots are shown on the minimap is that gonna help it completely i mean some people still don't want that because they're saying you know it's modern warfare it's a new game you know people you know you rely too much on the minimap i understand that point but also i mean the campers are still annoying as much as you know obviously you can have a new play style all you want you can play more tactical all you want you know maybe modern warfare isn't the game where you run and gun but I feel like it's still an issue, so I, I don't know. I, I mean, the game's fun, but I think it really could be so much better if they tried to figure out how to fix that. So we'll see what they do. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy, and yeah, I'll see you guys later.